have it there, God of Wonders, by my one and only super guest who is with me right here in the studio. Uh, like I said earlier on, I have this amazing guy with me. My, my, my director of operations told me to do, the re, to do the introduction again. And I'm still going to take it again the same way I did it the previous time. So if you missed it and you're just joining us, I'm still going to take it again. I have this amazing guy, a superstar gospel music artist. Okay? Like I said earlier on, if, you, if you're meeting this guy for the first time, you think he's a business mogul or an oil and gas tycoon or a real estate big boy <laughs> like hey, what, one of those guys you just see are like no a little kitchen music like this guy is not doing music but ladies and gentlemen he's doing music <laughs> he said i shouldn't put him in trouble but okay i'm gonna save him so much so much of that but he's doing music and like I, like like i always say on the show uh, it's glass in my heart when i see people using their talents to serve god like we see a lot of gospel music artists coming up on a daily basis and they, for, for, for them, it's not just about having that ability to sing. It's all about serving God in that capacity. And this great man with me here is doing the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I make welcome to the Gospel Unplugged show, the one and only fast-rising gospel music sensational um, maestro. Join me as I make welcome, one and only Sammy Peters. So, Welcome, boss. Now, we'll go back again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, boss. Yeah, Good to yeah, have you. Okay, we're actually talking, and uh, we, for, for, for the want of time, so many things to talk about. I'll just yeah. ask you the important questions so that I don't ask you too many questions, and then we keep enjoying the conversation, and the time will not be there to continue. Okay. Now, let, let, me, let me start by asking you, how did music actually start for you? Okay, um, basically, music for me started as... Um, as a passion, okay. like I told you backstage, yes. remember you were asking and then I said, um, I started doing music from while I was very, very much younger than this. I'm still young. Yeah, forever <laughs> young. So, much younger than yeah. this. And then children church, mm. then the church, my parents' church we used to attend then. So just that love for, see people playing instruments and doing music, see all those are big brothers there. Yeah. I was like, man, I, I, I love this thing. And then it keeps drawing and drawing and drawing and then pushing, pushing, and that was how music started for me. So professionally now, you've been doing music for how long? Okay, by professionally, you mean? Okay, when the money started coming in, let, let's put it that way. Professionally, when the money started, I'm going to put you on the spot there. <laughs> professionally, when you started performing at stages, started okay. having gospel mu um, um, singles, musical videos, okay. album, now those are the professional okay, stages. Okay, st started performing on a different stage. stage yes. Um, that would be like, man, it's been a long time, man. Mm. Maybe We're looking at over a decade now. L let's say like close to 10 years. Or wow. More. wow. Close to 10 years or more. Wow. But not very active. Mm. Not very active. But when I decided to take it serious and became active with it, mm. less than two years. Okay. Now, now you... Year, last year. Okay, last year. okay. I, I want to know, for you to say, okay, I want to be active in this, what were you okay. doing before now? Okay, well, by... Yes, all the while, I'd always um, wanted to use my musical talents to worship God. God yeah. That's the truth. Then um, I will always um, appreciate my pastor. Mm. He's one of the persons that gave me that platform. platform yeah, yeah I, I could take it as far back as um, Reverend Shedrach Okwe. Okay. That was a um, United Evangelical Church. Okay. He was one of the persons that encouraged me, mm. music-wise, while I was growing up. So even though there were challenges and things, discouraging it mm. he kept firing no this guy come on don't don't then down to reverend tony of um trem reverend okay. Tony Duvu okay of trem okay that was another person that pushed my music wow like sammy that man that man did a lot of things for me wow. that man can put me so he, he, can actually be on stage. Sport, he actually sports the talent in you and like this guy you're gonna that be man, on fire for christ the man can just leave me he will just be on stage. He's trying to do some. He's a pastor. Okay. Trem Marine Beach. Then. Okay. He will just leave me on stage to be singing. When, when I'm prepared or that, not, that's my own business. <laughs> <laughs> and you then, you will deliver. Well, we don't have any choice. <laughs> then um, Pastor Tunde of um, Pentecost Firehouse. Okay. Was also another person that wow. really really pushed me. Wow. Then from Pastor Tunde, finally the person that really should I say. Tore it all and all that was Pastor Rex. Okay. Call him Purex. Okay. So he, in fact, he has carried my music on it. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy, you would definitely, you need to do well in this thing. And mm. all the while, I, I'd always been um, taught 
it's always about it's a service to God for me. Yeah. It's a service to God, like every opportunity to just bless God's people, allow God to use me to yeah. minister to people musically. I've always been grateful. Okay, for you, is music um, more of a ministry than a calling or a ministry and a business? Which is it for you? You mentioned ministry than a calling. I don't ministry and calling. You can, you, yeah, you can be called to do music and it's a ministry for you and there is no financial income coming into it. So you just go to church and they tell you, oh, thank you for coming, God bless you, and you go back home. Thank you for coming, God bless you. That's the ministry aspect for it. So when you look at the business aspect of okay, it, okay. you're being paid something. I, 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 I get, you get it now. I get so, so is well, there a ministry and a business? Which? Well, um, I also want to correct emotions. Okay, okay. Well, personally, I think um, you can't pay music artists, gospel music artists who want to really just serve God with their music. Mm. Okay, when you give them honorarium, you can't pay for the gift of God That's true. in your life. I agree with okay? that. Okay, the reason why, now the truth is, yet again, it has been one controversy in the body of Christ. Mm. The place of you pay musicians, you don't pay musicians, um, gospel artists, yeah. shouldn't pay them. Man, these guys have bills to pay. Mm -hmm. They do recording. I just dropped a video yesterday. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> you yeah. don't want to know how much that video cost. That's they, shooting the video. Do you understand? Wow. They do recording, they go for, they, 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 they record tracks. They have all that things. They pay the instrumentalists, yeah. the backup singers, the equipment and everything. So all those things are actually costing money. Mm -hmm. So when they go for events and uh, a token is given like an honorarium, okay. they, like the word is called honorarium, to honor them, it's really basically... Do you actually see that as an honorarium? Because some of these guys now are, are raking in millions to come minister at a particular church or a particular can. event. And Sam is also making in millions as well. <laughs> Let's don't, not say the least. Uh, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> well, okay, okay, okay. But 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 I, I don't see it as an honorarium because yeah. these guys, like I said earlier on, they are making in millions. I, I, I don't want to mention the particular artist's name, but he has been on my show before. And we're just having this chat behind the scene. And I was like, sir, tell me, how much do you collect? Yeah. And he said in some, in, in some cases, he collects over a million naira. So we even collect more than that. More than so, that. You know. So that, now the business is not coming into it now. So is, uh, uh, let me ask you this question. Is gospel music actually paying now? Well, it depends on which area you're looking at. Mm. Depends on the angle you're looking at it. Now, the truth is music pays okay. when done well. Mm, music I like generally. that. Okay, music pays when done well. I like secular. that. If it is done well, you have the proper management and everything put into it, it pays when done well. Okay. Okay. Um, gospel music as a business. Now, I'm not denying or removing the fact that it could serve as a business. Even scripture says they that work in the vineyard should feed yeah. from the vineyard. Some people, this is all they do. Mm. I mean, you don't expect them to starve. Yeah. For crying out loud. Yeah. Okay. So now, you now get, now I, I don't want, um, there are some other aspects of the topic, like putting a prize, or this is what I will collect and all that. Those are areas I would not want to touch, if you okay. don't mind. Okay. Okay, okay. because everybody is different. Oh, okay. And perception Perfect. is different, how Perfect. they see these things. Perfect. Now let's talk about the new jam on Grand. Now, I, I'm, I'm so excited about that. I went on YouTube and I'm like, okay. I went to your, 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 your page on YouTube and I'm seeing, um, this particular music has been posted 11 hours ago, and I'm like, for real? <laughs> and we chatted some few days back, and then uh, no hints sure? about that. <laughs> well, it's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one. You, you actually caught me on that. It's a good one, no problem. So let's really talk about now you. Okay. So what actually inspired that song? <sighs> hmm. You told then, me be behind the cameras that there's, there's so much to read. Now you... Mm. Now you is a song. That, that song, the truth is whenever I think about the song or I hear the song, um, it brings tears to my eyes, like I put on the post wow. and all that. And um, yes, sometimes it might not be physical, yeah, but if you catch me on guarded, yeah. sometimes you will see it wow. when I'm listening to that song. That song came out of, um, let me use the word, it came out of um, a heart of gratitude. Hmm. I, I was going through a very trying time in my life. Wow. It was horrible, wow. like very horrible, everything was really 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 you can see my voice is even shaking mm, okay 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 <laughs> so okay, but okay. At, at, at the end of it all just to wrap it up mm. god, god came through for me wow and that song came out of that okay well we're going to see that particular musical video okay we're going to okay. see a, a, a bit of it but before we go far 
Yeah. Um, Sami, someone's actually watching now. Things are actually not going on well in the country today. Yeah. Um, there, there, there are a lot of people giving up on themselves, on yeah. their dreams because of the situation they are yeah. being faced right now. I want you to reassure someone watching right now that God is still in existence. Um, okay. Give you your own, your, your own story and how God intervened for you. The, the, the truth is, um, let me say um, sincerely for anyone listening to me out there, no matter how bad it gets, I, I feel you, it could get so bad that nobody will understand but you. Okay, and no matter how bad it gets, I, I like to tell people things when I feel they are going through things. I'll say there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, and that's Jesus. Jesus yeah, okay, it, it's sometimes it's not easy when someone is going through something. If you've not gone through it, you won't you know. understand. So most times I don't condemn people, even if they misbehave while going through things, mm. because something is going. I have been through some things. Mm. Okay, and then, but one message I have for whoever that person is, no matter how bad it gets, God still got your back. He's, he's, he's watching you, and trust me, I am telling you, I'm assuring you because of the confidence I have in Christ that he won't take any time. He will come true for you. Just trust in him. Now that's, that's what the song is about. That is it, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm about to say you know, right now. Um, let's check out now you, okay? okay? And by the time we're done with that, we'll come mm. back and talk a bit more, and then we'll be wrapping up the song. I just want to quickly say something to what Sammy said. Okay. The essence of this show is not just to bring people here talk about their life, no. Yeah. It's for them to minister to you. Now, Sam yeah. being here, with all he has said thus far, I've been, able to, I've been able to pick one or two things, and I can tell you I can run my life with for the course of this week and the rest of my life. So just take this music, just don't listen to it. Let yeah. it sink into your hand with the messages, yeah. and let God minister to you. Now you, and after which we'll come back to talk more. Stay Gospel Unplugged, yeah. right on Gospel Television. Blessed Amonose and Sammy Peters, stay with yeah. us.